Tuesday will mark the 51st Malaysia Day, but not everyone will be celebrating in the Southeast Asian nation. A growing number of citizens have been arrested under a 60-year-old law. Many of those being held are supporters of the opposition. Scott Heidler reports from Kuala Lumpur. A candlelight vigil held in support of a young Malaysian man in prison. But they're calling for more than his release. They're also calling for the law that imprisoned him to be abolished. Ali Abdul Jalil is being held under the Sedition Act 1948, put in place back when Malaysia was a British colony. It is only in Malaysia that it has been used against opposition figures who criticize the government. The act was designed to prevent an armed overthrow of the government, restricting what people can say and write that might lead to revolts. In Ali Abdul Jalil's case, according to his sister, the government is bullying him over a comment he posted online denouncing royalty in Malaysia. Yeah, they are afraid that the monarchy would, would be overthrown by only a Facebook status or the government would be in jeopardy. But in growing numbers, opposition party members are being arrested along with journalists, an academic and a religious leader. Led by the ruling Barisan Nasional Party, the government says they're not behind the arrests. We do not have a role in um, getting the authorities to prosecute anybody or to take action against anybody. They are left on their own to do their jobs. The prosecution is not commenting on the cases. Repeatedly, Prime Minister Najib Razak has said the Sedition Act will be abolished. The sleek and modern skyline of the capital here in Kuala Lumpur underlines the promises from the Prime Minister and the ruling party that they're leading Malaysia into the future. So why then are they using this decades-old colonial law to silence the opposition? Opposition leader Anwar Ibrahim is facing a second sodomy case. His lawyer says the timing might be because of this case. The lawyer has been charged with sedition for publicly repeating his argument in the case. What's important is that, the, we, is that we all, the whole country, stand firm and not buckle to this kind of uh, pressures. Uh, from the authorities. We have a right to speak our mind, we have a right to question the uh, government. The faces on this stage have either been charged with or are being investigated under the Sedition Act 1948. With silent protests planned and the anti-sedition act movement growing, more people could be joining them. Scott Heiler, Al Jazeera, Kuala Lumpur.